Erasmus wrote a treatment, this Roman Catholic priest, called On the Freedom of the Will, in which he defends the autonomy of the human will and its decisive force in the salvation of sinners. Very strongly, he defends this, while Erasmus defends that view and tries his best to say, ultimately, the decisive factor is in us. At the same time, Erasmus also says, but the whole question is irreverent, inquisitive, and superfluous. Nobody really needs to know, even though I just wrote a whole book defending it. Because of this attitude displayed by Erasmus, Luther actually asks that question in his book. Why'd you write a book on it if you don't think it's important? Why'd you write a book on it if you think it's just superfluous and inquisitive and no pious person should trouble themselves with it? Why defend a view and then dismiss the debate as silly? We get the same attitude from many today, don't we? Exact same thing. Many are convinced that God is not sovereign in salvation. Man's will is decisive. God actually does not choose anyone to save, but they'll turn right around and dismiss the whole question as foolish. And Luther's response is biblical and to the point. Listen to his response to that attitude that dominates the church today. He said this, therefore, it is not irreverent, inquisitive, or superfluous, but essential and necessary for a Christian to find out whether the will does anything or nothing in matters pertaining to eternal salvation. Indeed, as you should know, he's talking to Erasmus, this is the cardinal issue between us, between Rome and the Reformation, the point on which everything in the controversy turns. And then Luther wrote this wonderful sentence. Listen carefully to this. For if I am ignorant of what what? how far and how much I can and may do in relation to God, it will be equally uncertain and unknown to me what, how far, and how much God can and may do in me. And I cannot worship, praise, thank, and serve God since I do not know how much I ought to attribute to myself and how much I ought to attribute to God. He's saying if you don't know who saves who, you can't worship, you can't pray, because you never know. Should you praise God and yourself a little bit or praise God for the whole thing. He is exactly right. I can only worship when I see my salvation as entirely, not partially, not mostly, but entirely of God. And it can only be entirely of God if God chose me unconditionally. And I am justified before God and have the gift of eternal life by faith alone, completely and entirely apart from my works. That is to say, if my salvation is truly and actually by the grace of God alone. I can't worship God and I can't know I have eternal life without those twin truths. Unconditional electing grace and justification sola fide by faith alone. You see, if we don't understand what a gracious salvation really is, we will always be in doubt regarding whether or not we're saved. There are so many professing Christians today because this truth is ignored and swept aside and not seen as all that important and is too divisive. So many Christian people are paralyzed with fear because they really don't know what grace is and they don't know what justification is.